Good morning, it's Saturday around 9 o'clock, so we're a bit slow getting up, but you know what? We aren't in a rush today. As you can see, there's other people on the lake here behind me. Uh, we'll actually be over, be able to overtake them, I think, paddling. No portages today, straight paddle, about 30 kilometers worth of paddle. No, more than 30 kilometers of paddling today. Duncan and I have decided we're gonna wake ourselves up and have a shower of sorts by jumping into the lake this morning. It's kind of cold, there's a big breeze going on right now, so I don't know if this will be such a wise idea or not. All right, I just finished my dip and I'm drying off as fast as I can. Now it's Duncan's turn. Godspeed, my friend, Godspeed. Get it over with. Jump all the way in. There you go. All right, now get out. Get out. Run. Run. <laughs> it's cold. Just had our morning coffee. Yeah. And oh yeah, bacon. That's what Duncan gets when he puts bacon grease on there. Not so bad, we survived. It's breakfast uh, bacon and hard boiled eggs. All right, I got my Gilligan's Island hat on to keep me from the sunburn today. It looks a little bit goofy. Uh, we're actually scrambling to get out of here because we took way too long with that bacon. It's now 11.20. Uh, a lot of people have already passed us. We're just getting our final details in right now. We are going to be kayaking Isaac Lake today. So, looking at the map here. We are right here right now. And we will be heading all the way down to roughly campsite 26 or 25, somewhere in this area. That's close to 30 kilometers worth of paddling today. <sighs> Should be good. No portages, so that's what's actually killing us time-wise. Unloading the big canoe, loading it back up each and every time. So a lot faster today, uh, but still a lot more distance than we have to cover. So let's see how it goes. That's a nice little cross lake paddle to start the morning. I thought it would be longer than it took because yesterday me and Daryl walked all, ran, all, boated all the way down this coast to try and find firewood. Couldn't find any. It took us like over an hour. This ride right here, this stretch behind me, that only took me like 20 minutes today. Motoring is because we have this breeze at our back. Nice. But these guys are going super slow to me. right behind me. Oh man, they got to pick up the pace. We came across our first fellow boaters of the morning. This is a couple we passed yesterday. They take longer to portage than we do because they go there and back. But these guys, it's because this guy's going so slow. Daryl, he's no power at all. Right, Daryl? You want to paddle poopy? Be a lot faster than you. All right, the wind is picking up here on this lake, Isaac Lake here. It's probably muffled right now. But basically, if you look ahead, we're starting to catch people. These individuals are faster than us for sure. That's the couple that all overtook us on the previous lake. But it looks like there's some people with some sails and some other canoes on this side. We're gonna try and overtake here. Sorry, right there. We're gonna try and overtake them and then get to campsite 25, which is down there, closer to the snow-capped peak somewhere in here. The problem we have, or the cause for concern, is look at these gray clouds coming on up. I hope it doesn't rain on us. We're gonna try and near to this side of the lake here because that's where the campsite is um, and that way if it rains on us we could quickly get out of the boats and change into our waterproof gear. We had to take a pee break so we stopped at this random island in the middle of uh, the lake. It's choppy conditions now we thought nah why not try and get some food in while we're trying to overtake this uh, overtake this other group ahead. We drastically underestimated the amount of distance we covered this morning. We've only done a small portion of this giant lake and we thought we killed it already. So we're gonna get these in us and then just power through to our campsite. 
which is probably another 15 to 20 kilometers ahead. 15, 20? It's gonna be a tough one, but winds are picking up too, so this is making the water a bit choppy right now. No, that's, this looks rather easy. It actually came up inside the kayak a couple times on me. Nice and scenic. And then there's these two. And look at Duncan's technique here. He's got his feet up. Paddle harder, Daryl! Paddle harder! Great job, Daryl. Campsite number 20. So that means we've probably got a couple more hours till we hit our desired campsite. Open water, we got the, hey look, it's our first uh, park rangers boat coming this way in the power boat. Park rangers are the only ones who have power boats in this, uh, this provincial park apparently. So that's pretty neat. Wow, look at the scenery. Here we are at campsite number 22. Things got a little sketchy here. You might be able to hear the wind. Look what I just rode through. All these white caps coming in. I almost tipped two or three times there. And that peninsula right behind us, I got beached on it because the waves were so bad. So apparently the waves pick up in afternoon. Uh, we made a call just to bail out now while it's windy. I think there's a thunderstorm coming. Get on, set up our tent, set up our tarps, and then we're just gonna have to get up early tomorrow morning and power through this before all the winds come. But let's go check out this campsite. We got camp all set up. Now it's time to cook. Tonight we are having pasta, sauces in that one. More noodles boiling in there. I cut a whole bunch of wood to length, so I think we're good for the night. And we got two tarps going, which may or may not help us tonight. Pen, 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 pen. Pasta and crystal light for dinner tonight. Mm. Daryl, how's it so far? I haven't tried it yet. We'll try some now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of rocks and stuff in there because somebody can do a very good Blame job. Me. Cheers, Cheers, my friend. Slightly above cold. No, sorry, not really cold. Slightly yeah. above warm. Just drink, just drink it quick. So good. Coors Banquet. The banquet beer. The camping beer now. Important to note at the Bowerin Circuit, there's a lot of facilities in the 54, 52 campsites they have. Everyone has a bear cache, and it's a freaking huge bear cache. Look at this thing. It's got a twist open. Tons of room in there. And apparently, they said on the video on the way up, that every year before they put these in, there was roughly 13 bears put down every year. And ever since then, they haven't put one bear down. That's a pretty good number. And the other beautiful thing, for most outdoors people, city people won't really like this, but every single campsite also has a baño. Just complete with a seat. It's dark in there, but gets the job done and it beats squatting in the woods. So, Bower and Lake facilities, gotta give it a thumbs up. That's it for night number two at Bower and Lake. Still a bit sunny. We're just watching the sunset here beneath this big tree falling out in the middle of the lake um, We're gonna have some tea Have some campfire stories and then hit the hay and be up super early tomorrow. Not super early, but relatively early so we can hit the Main lake as cover as much ground as we can before we hit the chute Which is the rapids gotta get that done at least midday so that we can find a campsite as soon as we get out after it But look at this scenery. Wow Oh, Duncan's peeing over there, so I'll have to censor that out mm -hmm. 